and we're back still in Puerto Viejo day five because in the last video I mentioned that the food in Costa Rica is not the greatest I had to show you guys that burger that was actually the second day in a row that I went to that spot just an absolutely amazing amazing burger so I'm very critical and I said generally the food here isn't that good but that honestly might just be the best burger I've, I've ever had anyway I'm feeling really good I really feel like I'm easing into it I'm hitting my stride like when I travel guys like and not just with travel but with anything when I experience something new we always need time I need time to ease into it I need time to get comfortable for example, when I when I go to a to a party, let's say, and I just show up to the party, and the music is loud and people are jumping around, my initial thought will usually be that I don't like it, I don't want to stay, I want to go, I want to retreat to some place more calm or chill. And it's kind of the same with traveling. Like when I go to a place, a new place, I really need some time to ease into it and to become relaxed and that's also why up until this point I really hadn't made much content because I was just doing a lot of stuff I was going from one place to another and I really cannot do this I cannot record myself if I don't have this peace of mind I need time to collect my thoughts and now I'm nearing the back end of this trip and I'm getting to that peace of mind. As I look around, I wonder if I can actually go through here, which I don't think I can, so I guess I'll have to go around it. So I'm really happy. Like at some point, I was starting to think, I was two weeks in, I hadn't made a single video, and I was thinking, damn, I'm gonna go home not having made a single video in Costa Rica. It's quite disappointing because I know a lot of you guys really like the travel content, but now I'm here, I'm feeling good, I'm these into it, I'm comfortable, and I've got a very clear state of mind so I can talk about a bunch of things and there's a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. I don't even know where to start, but I'll try. I'll do my best. You may or may not noticed. Um, even though I do feel good, I'm at peace. I'm a little bit fatigued, and that's definitely an understatement because I basically have not slept for the past two nights. Now, it's not because I went out partying. As a matter of fact, I haven't even gotten drunk on this entire trip. I mean, not to say that that's a huge accomplishment, but being Belgian, it kind of is. Just haven't felt the need for it, just haven't. Um, you know, had that temptation to go out and get fucked up, so I haven't done that. So that's not the reason why I haven't slept in the last two days. The actual reason is that I was staying at this hostel, a really good hostel actually, with a really good vibe. Hola. Where Costa Rica! Costa Rica! Pura vida! So, what was I saying? So yeah, I was staying at this hostel, which I actually really like the hostel. I've been trying to go cheap, save money. I've been staying in dorms, guys, right? So I'm at this hostel, and the first night when I got there, I basically couldn't sleep for the entirety of the, of the whole night. And I thought it was me, you know, new in Puerto Viejo, still getting accustomed to it. I thought maybe it was the climate, the Caribbean humidity, so I didn't think anything of it. I figured I'll sleep even that much better the second night since I'm so exhausted from, from skipping an entire night. So then the second night came and again, like I just, I couldn't sleep. And you know how it is when you're trying to sleep but you can't sleep, but you're not really, you're not really thinking clear. Like you're woozy because you're in that state where you're trying to get to sleep that you just can't, your body just won't do it. And at some point I asked myself like, what the hell is going on and why can't I sleep? Like, let me try and really, you know, take a moment 
to figure out what is wrong with me and so I figured out that I just was itching everywhere. I was itching and I was scratching myself without even really noticing it. And so I'm sitting there in my bed scratching three in the morning. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Why am I itching like this? And that's when I figured out that I was actually being bitten by bed bugs. And if you've been backpacking, if you stayed in hostels, you know that the absolute worst thing that can happen to you is having bed bugs in your bed, in your mattress. They actually, they, they, they bite you, they sting. It's quite, it's even like a little bit dangerous because you can get infected and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, once I realized that, I was like, man, I need to invest a little bit and get myself a proper, clean, nice room just for myself. No more dorms. So that's what I did. But again, I can't stress enough. You know, I do really like the hostel and I spoke to the, to the manager about it in the morning. I was like, look, man, I'm not going to post a bad review or anything like that. Like, I just want you to know, like, I've been bitten by, you know, you're dealing with bed bugs and obviously it's not his fault. These things come in the backpacks of backpackers and they, and they stay and they make a nest, I guess. So he was cool about it and he really didn't, um, I mean, he was cool about, obviously I was also doing him a favor by not telling anybody else. So we kind of made a deal that I was able to check out without too much fuzz, not having to pay for the following nights. And I got myself a nice private room on Booking.com. Booking.com is what I use normally when I'm willing to splurge a little bit. So no more hostelworld.com. So I did that. And guys, forgive me if I'm being long-winded, but yeah, there's a lot to unfold. So I did that, I'm staying at that place right now. And staying on the theme of hostels, there is something that I that I realized that I that kinda that kinda came to me. So I'm staying at these hostels, I'm staying at these mixed dorms. Sometimes there's up to eight beds in one dorm, which is really pushing it for me, honestly. But I've been doing it regardless. A lot of natural beauty as well in, in uh, Costa Rica, as you may or may not be able to tell. Very hard to, to stay on point. Um, dorms. So sometimes, you know, like you guys know me, I'm social. I like to talk, I like to make friends, I like to connect with people. And every now and then, like, I'll have people, especially young people, kind of like give me weird energy like give me weird looks and and they kind of react to me in a way that it's like i'm not sure what's going on it feels awkward and initially as i think all people tend to do like you know you, you kind of receive some, some type of negative feedback and you immediately want to go like you know in my case i was like man what's wrong with these gen z kids like why they why are they giving me that vibe, like, why are they not really welcoming me? Like, they were kind of passively, aggressively shutting me out. And I immediately went into blame mode, you know, like, what's wrong with them? But then I had to, you know, I was thinking about it later. I took a little step back and I realized, you know, they have no clue who I am. Like, they have no preconceived notion of me, Lorenz or going to Viking or, or whatever or whoever I may be. So imagine being a 19 year old, 20 year old, 21 year old female, let's say. You're traveling for the first time to a distant continent. You're already on edge because your parents told you it wasn't a good idea. And then here comes this big jacked giant, clearly at least a decade older than you and something with his face is very wrong, You're, you know, so that's a lot of stuff to take in at the same time. 
and and again they don't know who I am they don't know that I you know I'm a, I'm a decent guy at least I'd like to think so so that really like I really had to kind of remind myself and check myself on that that I'm thinking they're trying to shout me out or they they, they want to they don't want to hang with me to you to maybe like you know the way I look and all that but really they're intimidated they're they're like a little bit anxious they're a little bit scared they're a little bit you know like they, they don't know what's going on and and they just kind of you know like want to get away want to get away from me which again makes perfect sense that's their right to do so and being a young person like that staying in a dorm and then having some like kind of weird guy come up to you and talk to you that can be very overwhelming very overwhelming and very again intimidating like not to toot my own not to toot my own horn too much that I'm bigger than I've ever been I'm walking around with these gold gin stringers on you know like I'm a character I'm I, you know like I can I can imagine people are like who the fuck is this guy so that was a really valuable epiphany for me to not immediately assume that people are kind of like shutting you out because they want to like hurt you or they want to judge you usually it's an insecurity issue usually the problem is with them by the way guys take a moment to appreciate this beautiful beautiful scenic scenic view simply amazing um so yeah that's something that i really like i realized i wanted to share that one with you today if you can still hear me actually yeah very caribbean vibe here right that's why i love it like this place reminds me of the dominican republic so much and if you've been following the channel for a while then you know that i have spent a lot of time in the dominican republic so this to me actually feels like a safer version of that so that's why i decided to stick around so i would much rather chill here for longer than just go and check boxes and 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 visit a bunch of other spots like that's something else i want to you know I'll, I'll conclude the video with that i've noticed that a lot of people that i encounter here fellow travelers they're so obsessed with like doing as many places as they possibly can just so they can go home and get to say like you know i did the whole country but the way i look at it it's like there's jungle there's beaches and uh, there's maybe a few cities and that's kind of it like and they want to get really deep into it how you got those type of jungles and those and, and that type of jungle but it's like well to me it's kind of you know more or less not maybe exactly the same but it kind of is uh so i'd much rather just like i'd much i'd, I'd prefer to stay stay put in one spot in one position and just make the best of it guys does anyone feel like we are back or what just me vlogging amongst the crowd talking to you maintaining my focus for most of the time feels like the old days man feels damn good and i just want to say thank you to all the people that have been with me on this journey for all this time i know sometimes i disappear sometimes the content is me just doing lives and and being being a little bit bitter and angry with life and negative and sometimes the phoenix rises rises from the ashes and i'm back to being you know like throw back big boy benzo a little bit calmer more collected more mature less shouty but still it feels like the old days thank you for taking this walk with me thank you for being here life is beautiful and much love from sunny puerto viejo Mwah. hi my name's spencer i'm a 34 year old from chicago i wanted to personally recommend uh lorenz aka wounded vikings life coaching services i've worked with him for over two years and i've made an, an incredible amount of progress in my personal life physically mentally emotionally and i think that's just because he comes from a place that's not he didn't learn everything from a book or a school he learned in, in real life and his through his experiences what he's gone through 
and not only has he has a unique approach to life and has been through stuff most people have not especially at such a young age he was able to motivate me and give me realistic advice and something else that i really enjoyed was he was always on call you know you can always send him a, a message always send a, a an audio message and that just sets him apart from other therapists and psychologists that you see once every two or three weeks and then you kind of go about your day um but he's he's there every step of the way every hour and that really gives you a next level of progress so once again i would like to recommend his services for life coaching mentorship um and you will not regret it <laughs>